Hi, my name is Josh Reese. I am a first year student at the Arizona College of Optometry, and I'm gonna take you with me through the hardest week of first year. And honestly, if it's not the hardest, it's definitely top three. So let's go ahead and start on Sunday and take you through the whole week. Also, it's kind of long because it's an entire week, but feel free to like skip your skip through if it ever gets boring, but definitely watch to the end because there's some crazy things that happen this week. And maybe you should hit the like button too. So here's what you can look forward to this week. Tuesday, we have an exam in our basic science classes. Thursday, we have an exam in our clinical theory and methods class. And then Friday, we actually have a proficiency in our clinical theory and methods class. So we got a clinical proficiency we have to prepare for this week, as well as two exams. Let's go. So this is Sunday, getting ready for the big week. Um, tomorrow, we don't have any school and it's gonna be nice to have MLK day off and have some fun. But starting on Sunday, I meal prepped for the week. So I got a bunch of dirty dishes to show for it and also a bunch of yummy foods. Let me go ahead and open the fridge. We got some ravioli, some steamed vegetables, a bunch of rice for different chicken dishes that I can do, a bunch of chicken, and we have different sauces like tikka masala, teriyaki chicken, mandarin orange, soy sauce, just different stuff that we'll eat with it. And we got a bunch of salad made and it's gonna be a great week as far as meal prepping goes. Full disclosure, I don't meal prep a ton. I, this is actually only my second time doing it, but I've fallen in love with it because I have a ton more motivation to cook for something that's not gonna be gone in 20 minutes, but cook for something that's going to last a whole week. So with almost the same amount of effort, I just made meals for me for my entire week. So very proud of myself. A funny thing too, is I always cut off the fat of the meat and I feed it to Kiwi and I cook it too. So I cook it and season it for her. I don't know, maybe I'm dumb to do that for a dog, but Kiwi, come here. Come on. All right, let me show you her tricks. Sit, sit, down, paw, Kiwi. Kiwi, paw, good, boop. High five, yes. So I actually realized that tomorrow is usually my study day for the exams that I have on Tuesday mornings. And so I'm actually gonna do some studying now to make up for not being able to study as much tomorrow. <laughs> dishes and get ready for bed. So we had a late morning and now we're driving up to Sedona to do some hikes. So we made it to Sedona and we're gonna start hiking. Cue photo dump in three, two, one. So we're done with the hike and we got some great food with a better view. Just got back from Sedona, and now I'm gonna study for the exam tomorrow with my study group. Walking home from campus with the full moon and studying until like 11 tonight. And then tomorrow we got our exam bright and early and we'll see you tomorrow morning. So woke up this morning at like six and I put a load of laundry in so that way I can switch it when I come out of my exam and uh, yeah just headed over to my exam it's honestly I feel an okay amount of prepared not super prepared like I'm not gonna ace this thing but good enough I'll be able to pass and I'm actually a little late so I'm gonna pick up the pace to get there on time so I actually live on campus and uh, the exams and most optometry things are in Glendale Hall so it's actually the only building that's pretty far from on-campus housing. 
So I'm literally like a minute or two minutes away from all classes except those in Glendale Hall. So I always think I'll get there a little earlier than I do. Just got out of the exam and how was it? It was a Basie test. It, it was wasn't okay. The best, it wasn't the worst. Yeah, wasn't bad. Now that the exam's out of the way, I can actually kind of start thinking about the rest of my day. So what the rest of this Tuesday looks like is first I'm gonna like eat breakfast and walk kiwi and uh, change the laundry again. But at nine o'clock we got optics for an hour, and then we have two hours of our basic science classes, and then up until twelve, and after 12, we got the whole day to ourselves. We have a few assignments due this week and a lot to get ready for. So I'm probably not gonna have a ton of free time, but it's a lot to do. And this is our laundry room, by the way. It's got, for each building, you have three washers, three dryers. It's pretty good. So laundry took a little bit longer than expected and turns out optics today is over in Glendale. So I'm gonna be a little bit late to class this morning and I had to wear business casual because my scrubs are in the wash. I like wearing scrubs more, but that's okay. But don't worry, I still got my Crocs on. So we're gonna have a good day. Optics and we're heading to Bayesie, the basic sciences. Um, this week we're going in depth into all the motor and special cranial nerves because this last week we did an overview of all of the cranial nerves and in depth views into all the sensory nerves. So this week's gonna be finishing up our neuroscience unit. So we've had four intense weeks of neuroscience and the leaves are starting to change colors in fall here but it's winter so it's kind of funny to be in arizona in the winter and it just feels like fall it's actually really nice outside right now like not even coat weather could probably be short sleeves out here so uh let's head into class a lot of people actually attend this class online as well so i'll kind of show you in lecture hardly anyone's there it's actually kind of nice Face you down, one more to go. So it's actually raining a little bit right now on my way to lunch. And I was actually, I was a little bit wrong about how easy it would be um, in Bayesie this morning. It's always way more in depth than I think we're going to have to learn. So wasn't just cranial nerves, it's really the entire motor function of the body, which is fine, you know, we're gonna need to know that. And it'll be super applicable in my career. So let's go home and eat some lunch. And can I just mention that in Arizona, when it rains, it smells so good. All right, for our lunch, we got a protein pack, a little bit of leftover salad, another uh, little fruit pouch, some water, and a nice uh, turkey and cheese sandwich with some spinach on it. Also, you'll probably realize that I ha uh, never did the dishes last night. That's on me. I take full responsibility for that. Uh, I just am lazy sometimes. Um, and also, I just want you to know that I probably won't try this hard in future lunches. I'm trying really hard today to actually eat good food but I might slip off a little bit towards the end of the week. I'll let you know. So after lunch, I'm heading back to campus to work on a VR magic lab that I have for the direct ophthalmoscope and then two other assignments that I'm just gonna finish up on campus as well. So this is the VR magic lab. I got my buddy here and we're gonna be doing some assignments with the direct ophthalmoscope. So basically how it works is, um, you kind of select your assignment and this is just introduction to direct ophthalmoscope so basically what it wants you to do 
is it wants you to find different images in the retina. So if I pick up this bad boy, and I'm not going to be able to put my eye to it too much, but you can kind of see in there that there's a, or you can see in the live view a little bit better, that you're seeing someone's eye and you need to go around and find different shapes on the retina. And so it just kind of gets you acclimated to that. And it kind of shows you how much you've scanned and which parts you have scanned. And there's an option to do dilation and to change the shape of it as well. And in the VR Magic Room, we have VR for almost every, like all the hard skills. So it's like the DO, uh, the BIO, and then we've got some injection table over there and slit lamp, which this can, comes in handy actually right now. I might spend some time practicing for the proficiency in slit lamp on a virtual patient. So now I'm in one of the lab rooms downstairs and I'm actually clocked in so that I can work on some of the social media posts that I have to put out uh, for my job as a social media ambassador for the ASCOP Instagram page. Go ahead and check it out if you haven't already. The link's in the description. Um, but I'm working on a post for Fun Pun Fridays. So if you ever have any good eye puns that you'd like me to put up there, uh, comment them down below. Um, I don't know. I'm always looking for better eye puns. I don't know. You can go see the, the highlights of it. They're not always the best puns out there. All right, so we're out here on Kiwi's Night Walk. And uh, we finished the optics homework and the, a quiz for clinical theory and methods. And now it's time to go practice for the proficiency on campus. And for dinner tonight, I just cooked a Costco pizza. I know I was going to try really hard with food this week, but I kind of already given up. So here's looking to the rest of the week. I did homework last night until like 10. And then now I'm making my wife's lunch. Got a sandwich and some veggie straws and some hummus and crackers. And you'll notice I probably still haven't done the dishes. So today, this morning, I was going to wake up early and head to class at eight to get some of this, the assignments done that I need to do. But I decided to take that hour in the morning to give Kiwi a nice walk and finish the dishes that I didn't do and put away the laundry that I did on Monday. But yeah, so I got class starting at nine with optics and then four hours of Bayesi today with lunch in between. So it's gonna be a long day. Most of today is gonna be focused on um, clinical theory and methods class because we have the exam tomorrow for that and the proficiency on Friday. And both the exam and the proficiency are dedicated on the slit lamp exams. So the exams on like every, all the pieces of the slit lamp, all the different illuminations and filters and dyes that you can use, everything we've learned in class. Tonometry as well, all the tonometry techniques. And then the proficiency is just doing a rough examination of the eye with all the specialty illuminations that we've learned so far. So that's basically what I've been practicing for a little bit and will be practicing and working on the next two days, two and a half days total. Also, I don't know if you can hear the birds chirping, but uh, the frustrating thing, maybe it's not just Arizona, but about Arizona right now, is that the ones that sound prettiest are actually kind of gross. Let me see if I can get a good picture of it. Just like a normal bird. Like, what you doing making pretty sounds? Come on, make crow sounds. Don't sound so pretty. Also, I just remembered about tonight, um, I won't be able to practice much because we're, we have a dance practice. My wife and I go to a Spanish church in the area and all the different area Spanish churches are getting together and doing a cultural night and our congregation is in charge of the Chilean dance, the cueca. So we got some cueca practice tonight, seven. Before I head to class, I wanna show you my plants. I planted some marigolds and uh, this is actually the first time I've been able to get plants to grow. So uh, that's been cool. Uh, I love these guys. Look at them. They're just living it up. Wow. And this is probably a surprise to no one, but I'm late to class again, and I didn't end up finishing the dishes or the laundry. 
And the cherry on top is that I realized I forgot to charge my laptop last night. So, uh, pray for me. So in the break between classes, passing time, uh, I'm gonna go get my charger because my laptop died during the first hour. And I'm gonna go eat breakfast because I realized I forgot to eat breakfast. So I gotta rush home to be back in time. And for lunch, um, I'm just gonna come clean. I didn't have cereal this morning and I love cereal. So having some cereal for lunch. You know, I'm an adult, I can do what I want, I guess. Right, Kiwi? You'll be happy to know that the dishes are done and the laundry's put away and I'm late to class again, so bye. So we also have lower motor neurons up in the brain stem. These are the... So I was gonna study, but I ended up spending most of my time on like YouTube and TikTok. But on the bright side, I did make TikTok, so. So that's so that's good. Now, now I'm just gonna go to the go to campus and try to study and until my wife gets home. Keep it single and queer. First, up here slightly for the two. All right, so I just got out of lab and. Uh, yep, just done practicing, finished up my assignment that's due tomorrow, uh, the slit lamp lab assignment, and now just headed home, gonna get some dinner, chillax, we got uh, no assignments to do anymore uh, for the rest of the week. Actually, we got a physics lab assignment, a pre-lab I gotta do, but just that physics pre-lab, but for now I can just focus on studying for my exam tomorrow night, and which most of that I'll probably do tomorrow because the method exams aren't going to be too bad. And then practicing a little bit more for the proficiency. But honestly, um, because the lab assignment and the proficiency are overlapping enough, I feel like I'm, I'm ready for the proficiency. Like I timed myself and we have a nine minute time limit to do everything on the slit lamp that we need to do. And I can do it in like eight minutes and 30 seconds. I don't know if I'm doing everything right yet, but I can do them and you know, maybe I'll miss a few points here and there for not doing things right, but I feel pretty confident for the proficiency on Friday. So as much as this week was probably gonna be the hardest week out there, I feel like I'm handling it okay. We'll, we'll see once tomorrow comes, but for right now, let's go get some dinner with my wife. It's uh, Thursday now, so big test day. That's going to be at five o'clock, an evening exam. And as far as classes goes, it's basically the same thing as yesterday, where I have one hour of optics and four hours of basic science. So uh, yeah, let's let's get into today. It's gonna be crazy out there, but mostly I'm gonna be spending my free time. Um, I got an hour for lunch and two hours after class before the exam. It'll probably just be studying for the exam. And uh, yeah, let's uh, so come with me. Let's let's do this. So this is my locker. I got all of the blood pressure stuff and lenses I haven't used yet up here. Uh, and then we got my little bag so I can take only what I need into proficiencies. We got my white coat for the proficiencies and my whole lens kit down here. And uh, yeah, that's my, that's my locker. All right, thank you. So that was my last class for the week. Got two labs tomorrow or a lab and a proficiency tomorrow and uh, test tonight at five. So I got like two hours to study. So let's, uh, you know, I'm gonna use my phone to remove distractions and 
do a study montage instead of uh, looking at TikToks. So uh, let's go. Guess who just wasted a half hour on TikTok instead of studying? Now let's chew the... So my phone died while studying and I actually just got out of the exam. I'm feeling like a B plus, A minus. Could get an A though, um, but there's a few that I was unsure about. But guess how we're celebrating? Raisin canes! Good chicken fingers. Now I'm out walking Kiwi and then I'm gonna head back to the lab to practice for the proficiency tomorrow morning. And um, just practice a little bit until I'm ready. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. So this is it. The morning of the day where it all ends and uh, it'll all be over. So I'm just gonna take Kiwi a potty and head over. Uh, it starts at 7.30, but I'm gonna get there a little early to practice. And I found out something interesting yesterday. This is actually not a proficiency. This is a competency. So the difference between a proficiency and a competency is that a competency, however many points you miss on it, uh, you just get that grade and it's just like an assignment. But a proficiency you have to pass to be able to go to clinic in the future. So if you don't pass it now, you have to pass it at the end of the quarter. So this is a competency and not a proficiency. So I don't know, maybe when I've said that this is like the hardest week of entire first year, uh, it might not be true. This might actually turn out to be okay, and I think I've been stressing out too much about it. So, there we go. Oh my gosh, I haven't watered my plants. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I don't have an iPad. So, um, as much as all of these uh, classes are geared towards people with iPads, I, they're always unnecessarily long, the labs that you have to print out and fill out. And, um... So here's me printing them out. Oh yeah. So uh, the printer ran out of ink. So I'm just gonna uh, have to buy some and fill it out later. But uh, that always makes it harder. So this is gonna be a great day. I did pretty okay, but I ended up running out of time, so I missed definitely a few points in there. But it's over, and wow, I feel okay. Maybe I'll squeeze an A out of it. I don't know. And I have another example here, and this example there is an L2 sign. Um, you can see it exists, but it's not in our topic. Yeah, so you have to find, uh, find an image. <laughs> So I'm out of lab, and honestly, that's basically it for for my entire week. So I actually lied. It's a nice day outside, so I'm gonna take Kiwi to the dog park. Woo! If you haven't already, smash that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.